Hey, hey, over here. Come with me. So this is what it's like to do an interview, huh? Look, I know I'm not meant to interview you guys until I can give my consent, but you guys need to understand something. I want to be a star. I want to be famous. And this is my way of doing it. Don't tell anyone, but I think I'm in love. I'm in love with the grind. This is why we don't interview you guys. Get out! Basically, I'm following up on a certain student issue we've had in the yard recently. I normally don't like doing this type of stuff, but Mocha Mola is out. Oh, Jade! It's so nice to see you! Hey, Miss Pencil. Please, Jade. Just call me Rose. <laughs> really? Of course! So I have some sort of personal connection to Jade. I see a lot of me in her. She's a kind soul who, if I'm going to be honest, doesn't seem to have many friends. So, what's your issue? You know Mr. Banana? Yeah, of course. He's an awful teacher. He blames us for him not being able to find the work we submitted. I mean, like, he failed me for doing the work. You know what? You stay right there. I'll go talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. I've always found him a bit weird and creepy. But as long as I'm helping Jade, then I think I'll do it. Class, you're being too noisy. God, the younger year levels are better than this. Jack, stop being distracted. I'm not distracted though. What do you mean? You just got distracted by the camera. Well, it's not his fault that there's a documentary crew here. Can you stop being distracted and do your work? I really like this place. I love working here. Some of the kids hate me, but it's all a part of the charm. The charm, of course, being that I get paid to yell at kids. Pack your things. You're fired. What? This is our 20th complaint about you in the past week. Jay just came in and told Rose about how horrible you've been. What? Look man, I like you as a member of the team, but you just aren't suited to be a teacher. Where is Jade? Oh god. So today we're going to be talking about clocks. Yes? I don't mean to be a bother, I'm just curious about the relevance of clocks while talking about geography. Look, maybe there is a reason, I just don't get the connection between the two. That's a fair question, Apple. I completely understand how you'd be confused. I was hoping someone would pick up on that, because it was a test, and only Little Apple passed. Oh, thank you so much. God, I hate Little Apple. He ruins all my jokes. Yes, of course, clocks have nothing to do with geography. I was gonna continue it with, you know what clock is big? Big Ben! You know what else is big? My god- Yeah, I cut him off on purpose. Oh, and yeah, I turned 16 yesterday. So, as some of you may know, I come from the future. In the future, there's a lot of weird new countries, such as this African country known as Narfolk. That already exists! Yeah, I knew that. Of course I knew that. Sure you did, buddy. Well, it looks like it's time to go!
What's happening? Mr. Pencil? What? Are you talking to me, champ? Uh, no. I'm not. Watch out. I'll make you black and white in a second. You want a piece of me? I'm the little pencil, and I'm about to rock your world. Oh god, please, no, no, no! I think we've done a good thing today. Wouldn't you agree, Rouse? Ugh, thank god he's gone. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that you changed your voice. Yeah, well I did. And you're gonna have to deal with it.